The end. Anymore. We're out the cars. Have a nice day. Have a nice day. Are they adding in the bins? Of course they are. Scooby Doo. What do we do now? Now we wait for the drive to clear up so we can make a break for your time machine. It's kind of fun. Hey, it's my mom. Ended doing you back there. She was trying to rebuild my personality from the ground up, erasing the parts she didn't like. Mm. Harsh. You great hairs, you great eyebrows. Should we go help? You great happy tree, leaving to your penis. None of this will ever happen. <laughs> Big slap. Where is the DeLorean anyway? I had the red code for my secret lab near Clayton Ravine. Clayton Ravine? As in Clara Clayton? Why? Clara's kind of supposed to be your wife, so, yeah. Yeah. From the third film. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit! <laughs> nice one. No offense, Your Honor, but why'd you marry Edna anyway? She's, she's kind of crazy. She has massive tits. Well, that when we were first dating, her madness was tempered by an ironclad sense of right and wrong. At least, that's how it seemed to me at the time. Ew. Old people kissing. Mom, Dad, no! You'll be fine. Once we repair the time stream, none of this will ever happen. I guess you're right. Good thing no one wants to recycle anything. Clear. Recycle Wait, Doc into a 20 year old. I'm afraid I'll have to do that without you, Martin. What? Why? Well, for one little I understand of time travel, if you help me rebuild the time machine, your presence in the repair units could cause some sort of temporal paradox after we return to 1931. Huh? So what am I supposed to do? Just hang out here in Bizarro Hill Valley until you fix the time machine? Yes. Exactly. But don't worry. If things work out according to plan, you won't even notice I'm gone. You know, for a second there, you sounded almost as confusing as the real Doc. See? We're making progress already. See you soon, Martin. Good luck, Your Honor. Oh, and you might want to stay off the streets for a few seconds. Stay off the street? Citizen Brown? Emmett? Huh? He's not coming back, you know. Shit. What are you talking about? Emmett? Without me to guide him, he's almost useless. Before I found him, he was a miserable failure who never finished anything. But with me to inspire him, look at what we built! Huh. The only inspiration in Doc's life, you know. In my timeline, he married one of the sweetest women of the 19th century. Sweetness. Yeah. Emmett needs discipline to stay focused. He rock a He's so easily distracted. You think you've inspired Doc? I'll have you know that without you, Emmett Brown is destined to build a time traveling DeLorean and a flying time train. Preposterous. Emmett couldn't even build a dog feeder without me to guide him. Yeah, well, he did that too. Yeah, you've inspired him all right. Inspired him to turn Hill Valley into a bunch of uptight dorks. Punch out. I wouldn't expect a delinquent like you to understand. Watch you covered in pain. Okay, Your Honor. Starting to get a little concerned here. There we go. So it and boot it. Six months? It took you six 
months to repair the time machine? Six months? My family fortune and a sketchy deal with a gang of Libyan nationals. <laughs> All worth it for this moment. So what happened in those six months? Oh, blow it out of your exhaust, poor dear. Huh? I've escaped into the past. You're packed with divorce lawyers, can't <gasps> Mark, how long have you been waiting for me? A couple of minutes, maybe? That's curious. I sent the repair time circuits to arrive only a couple of seconds after I left. Oh, I'm sure there's no need to consider it. It's probably just a minor discoloration of the time circuits. Huh? Here. What's this? Clothes for our trip. Can't have you traipsing around 1931 in that ridiculous. 9 Fairy Wolves? Our trip? Isn't 2000 going to let you erase the worst mistake of my life without my help? Did you? Bye, bitch. Bye, bitch. See you in. Five minutes. Respect my avatar. Time circuit set for August 26, 1931. You ready to go, Your Honor? Call me, Doc. <laughs> Frankenstein, though. Oh, that's classy, yeah. If you're going to, that's what we're here for, remember? Right, of course. The film that was supposed to set off a chain reaction in my imagination inspired me with the notion that we launched my scientific career. You still got no memory of what that notion was? Huh, she never got Renault instead. Well, how could I? It happened in the brain of a different man at Rome. For us, I do know something about my own brain. I mean, lived in it for the past 70 plus years. Once we get my younger self be inspired by that movie, nothing will distract him from this proper. Stop! <gasps> will you look at that? The town square? What about it? It's just like I remember it. Only dirty. <laughs> oh, the old port out. Come on, now. Who the sight of dirt? Go oh. inside and check it out. First rule of time travel, Doc. Never allow your other self to catch sight of you. It could cause reality to collapse or something. You mean? Right behind you. Don't peek. Go on. I'll let you know when you're gone. And don't forget, you're Carl Sagan. The billions of billions guy? The suspected arsonist. Huh? Just go with it. Convince Emmett to see Frank instead. In a minute. I want to walk about. I guess I'm not walking about. Nope, it's forcing me to go there. It's persistent, don't want me to go anywhere else. Michael! Michael Gollio! You show up at the oddest moments. Where have you been hiding? Oh, you know, 